Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your daily reading for Tuesday the 3rd of December 2019 and this is for all signs. So it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and leave the rest. So I'm just going to pull an energy card for the day to see what the message is. Angel Spirits guys, what do we have? We have Goddess of the Moon. This is about trusting your intuition. Now sometimes when we encounter emotional situations or we've been through emotional situations, it is that intuition that navigates through those murky waters where you can't really see things clearly. It's a deceptive quality, the moon. Things are magnified with the moon energy. Uh, things seem worse. Things appear far more bigger than they are in the pure daylight. And it is about trusting your intuition now to guide your way forward. Beautiful. If you're making decisions, it is about if it feels right, it is right. <clears throat> If it feels wrong for you, it is wrong and it's a gut instinct. It's an immediate instinct that you have. If you have to persuade yourself on something, then think twice. That is what the moon energy is all about. Okay, let's pull an angel card, yeah. Surrender and release. There may well be some things that are coming to the surface. Sometimes the moon energy is linked with our subconscious things come to the surface to be released as well old old things that we sometimes bury and there can be a point now trust your intuition surrender and release in order to understand how to move forward in order to make decisions and choices sometimes when we have emotional imbalance we can't make the decisions that we need to make and it is because we need to deal with the internal work first in order to move forward. There's glitter all over the table again. <laughs> Never mind. We will crack on. So let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, Angel Spirits guides, what do we have please? This is for all signs for Tuesday the 3rd of December 2019. Thank you. We have the King of Wands, the Great Achiever. This is about taking action. We have Justice. What else do we have please, Angel Spirits Guides? What other message do we have? Thank you. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> There's success here, there's growth, it's time to take action. Interestingly, we do have Jupiter going into Capricorn. We have the Five of Wands here. Um, and this is the beginnings of taking action, taking the first steps towards success. But it is long-term goals, setting long-term goals, long-term intentions. Now that Jupiter in Capricorn is, you know, that Wheel of Fortune, that Jupiterian energy of expansion, growth, prosperity. Um, good luck, good fortune. It's saying certainly in terms of money, career, material aspects, there is achievement to be had, but you have to set feasible intentions. 
not just things that are pie in the sky, set realistic expectations in order to achieve long term. So, and I'm doing this reading on the 2nd of December when Jupiter goes into Capricorn and it will be in Capricorn until the 19th of December 2020. So just over a year. So long term goals, long term aspirations, yeah. Taking decisive action. Certainly in terms of money and career, it's very positive. Okay, because yeah, there's an opportunity to bring hopes, dreams and wishes coming true. Yeah, beautiful, okay. Okay, I'm gonna start here. We have justice here. Justice is a card of Libra. It is a card of sometimes dealing with disputes. You know, these people have, there's conflict, there's dispute, there's competition as well with the Five of Wands energy. It might well be there's been some disagreements or conflict to do with contracts um, work aspects, money, home, property, could be relationships, can be about marriage, divorce, uh, division of assets, all of this kind of thing. And when you can't sort out the issue yourself, this is when justice gets involved to bring a conclusion and make a fair and just decision on the situation. So there's a big message. Now is the time to, there is a new beginning coming for some of you. A new beginning of new growth. I think for some of you, if you've been through this, because I've got the surrender and release card here, if you've already been through this, there could have been a decision or choice. Sorry, decision, I should say. A decision made to do with some dispute or conflict. That should, hopefully, bring a restoration of balance and is on the side of truth for some of you. So, powerful message there. Sometimes this can be about just trying to find balance, you know, like I talk about here as well. You know, there's emotional energy here with the moon as well. It might well be some of you are trying to find balance or restore balance. You know, we have the scales of balance here in your life. Could be after going through a trialing time where you've needed some kind of arbitration where you've needed some, a third party, could be a, somebody in the legal profession or government institutions, that type of thing, to come in and resolve whatever this conflict was. There's an ending here. We have the Ten of Wands. It might well be, for some of you, this has been hard work. This has been a challenge. This has been a burden that you've been carrying for a while. But a 10 is an ending. And it is now time to surrender and release. It is now time to understand the burdens that you can release now. What are you carrying that you don't need to carry anymore? Because it is very much understanding. It can be internal burdens can be where you're doing too much or you've got too much on your plate in your external world as well. Whatever this burden is, it is now coming to that point to review what you need to release in order to move forward. The cards are very clear here. They really are because you're making a decision or choice that will ultimately lead to wish fulfillment. This is the Eight of Cups. This is abandoned wish fulfillment. This is somebody who has been in a situation, whether it's been a job, whether it's been to do with things that you own or relationships or wider friendships and family. But this is somebody who has realised that something hasn't lived up to expectation or their hopes and dreams and wishes. Something hasn't been as fulfilling as they wanted it to be. And now is the time to recognise what's missing. You see, there's a missing cup there and move towards what will be fulfilling your hopes, dreams and wishes coming true. 
and I think it has to do with five of pentacles as well and this burden you're walking away from things that have been too difficult too challenging that have they've put too much on you on your plate and that have burdened you too much and I think some of you are taking the conscious effort to walk away towards something that will bring you happiness and fulfillment on every level because the five of pentacles <clears throat> can be about poverty it can be about struggling financially it can be where you might have been um, out of a job or you're looking for a career that pays more money all of that kind of energy because this is a card of lack something not giving you um, the security that you need something hasn't lived up to expectation or promise in the way that it should now that can be in terms of value as well in terms of valued relationships can also be to do with your property in your home you need more money you want more security and um, to be able to afford the material things and take care of your foundations your solidity your home your family all of the things that are of value to you the five of pentacles is where you might have been through because you've been overburdened you may well have let everything get on top of you you may well this is a card of lack breeds lack this is a card of when you vocalize your negativity when you allow that negativity to get on top of you to make you feel small make you feel that you don't have the skills experience knowledge to get out of this hole that's where you stay you stay exactly where you are and now is the time to take the steps that you need to take to understand what's not fulfilling and do something about it because there's wish fulfillment here beautiful and yeah I mean this is really clear beautiful cards by the way you know the ace of wands is the beginning of something new you're walking towards this is about taking action recognizing your own potential recognizing your own power in this situation to bring positive change into your life because we have three cards of change here you know two fives can talk about change as well as the eight can talk about change as well in tarot I do feel for some of you there is change here afoot it could be linked to an opportunity that some of you might be offered and um, there could be some opportunity could be to do with your passion something that you're very passionate about where your passion is being reignited this can also be to do with career and business advancement and um, walking towards new jobs that are far more fulfilling that are a mechanism for bringing your hopes dreams and wishes to reality here you see these these this this wand is sprouting there is potential but you have to put in the effort you have to take the steps you have to recognize what you need to walk away from and what you need to walk towards now there could be some life review here in order to move forward to that new beginning a fresh start and I think some of you want this fresh start after this period of justice because it is all about bringing success understanding that you have the power to bring success into your life now this could be you know real success this is the beginnings the very first step that when you take action there's a castle in the distance that represents real success and even though things aren't always going to be plain sailing we can see that because we've got all these mountains in the background that can say listen there are going to be obstacles but when you take action when you take control of situations when you understand that when you see the bigger picture of this situation and do something about it that's when you can be that achiever which is the king of wands this is the beginning of the minor arcana this is the end and like I said um, that Jupiter in Capricorn energy it is all about taking action having long-term goals understanding what you're moving towards now certainly in terms of material success 
to make it happen, but it's having something that's achievable, practical, understanding what's missing in your life now, and, you know, bringing something that's far more fulfilling. And remember that Jupiterian energy is reminding us it's not just getting the end game, it's not just the end result. This is all about the journey and um, having a greater enriched experience along the way. But nevertheless, a greater awareness of your own power and um, taking control, taking the lead in your life now. This is not somebody who is defeatist, this is somebody who is an opportunist. They take action, they don't stop on their rest on their laurels. If they have setbacks, they just keep on driving forward because they are recognizing their own power and potential to bring real success into their life. And that's what you're being asked to now. So beautiful message. So big message of surrender and release. Big message of really connect to your inner self, most definitely, in order to move forward in your external environment. I'm gonna pull a fairy card and see what the message is. pull one more okay <clears throat> we have friendship fairies and humans alike need friends now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams beautiful and we have hidden depths something hidden is about to come to light perhaps a secret or a memory at the back of your mind when we expose what's hidden we can become free. And that is very much surrender and release. Understand what's holding you back. It is about taking an honest view of your life and understanding where you want to go because there is a new beginning here. There is a wish fulfillment card here. And it's time to take the steps that you need to take to bring real success into your life. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you and I'll see you next time. Thank you.